So given these two equations that we are having, we are asked to solve for x, correct to two decimal places. All right, so take note there. You are to solve for x. These are typical equations that you might be given. There, I just want you to get note of the format that you be having. We referred to solving such equations using completing of the square method. And there was another part where we had to use the factorization method. The factorization method, it is used uh, to some equations and it is limited to, to a certain extent. Let's say you're given an equation of this nature. I said using your factorization, you can simply have your two brackets because here we've got factors. So you're going to have x and x uh, for this x squared since it is 1. Uh, then considering the constant, which is positive 6, uh, to give us a negative 5. We said you're just going to have a 3 and a 2. So for us to have a negative 5, this is supposed to be negative 3 and negative 2. All right. So these are the terms or the numbers that you're going to use. Minus 3, minus 2. Then you simply, okay, one of the brackets must be equal to 0. So x is equal to what? You take the minus 3 to the other side, becomes a positive, all right? The 2 to the other side, it becomes a positive. That is how you solve the search by what? Factorization. It was a quadratic equation where the highest exponent is 2, and still we have got our format, ax squared plus bx, uh, plus, BX plus c is equal to 0. We still had our quadratic equation. We had another part where we used the completing of the square method where factorization is limited. The moment that you are given an instruction to two decimal places, it means no matter how we're going to try our factorization, it is limited. It is limited. And also the number of marks that you'll be given, maybe you're given four marks, maybe you're given five marks. There, you can use completing of the square method. All right, completing of the square method, uh, and also we've got the quadratic formula. This is part of your syllabus. Any of these can be used, all right? Any of these. Completing of the square, you can use the quadratic formula. So we talked about this. So we are going to be focusing in this class on the quadratic formula. So like I said, guys, this is just free marks for you guys. These are just free marks. One, uh, you know your quadratic equation, the format ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. This is the format that you're supposed to have of a quadratic equation. So here we are referring to a quadratic equation. Take note, most of us, we confuse an equation and the formula. No, the formula is the one that you are now using to solve such an equation. The formula states that x will be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything over 2a. So guys, you are given the formula. So that's why I'm saying this is just free marks. What you just need to know is the format of your quadratic equation. Some guys, some examinations, they don't even give you this formula. But us guys, we've got the formula. We are given uh, this. X is equal to minus B plus or minus uh, the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Everything here, the division is affecting everything. Take note. It's affecting everything is over 2. It's not minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a like this, like some of us, how, how they write it. No, this is wrong. The division affects everything. The division is taken from the minus there up to the end. Everything is covered. All right, so like I said, guys, uh, this is just free marks for us. Let us just try to use this uh, formula to attempt the typical questions that we are given. So on the first part, we have got an equation that is 4x squared. We have got uh, 4x squared minus 8x is equal to 7. So for us to solve this equation, 
we are supposed to use the quadratic formula, but it is used when we have our equation in this format. All right. So this is our formula, the quadratic formula. All right. So there we have got the formula that we use. So this is our equation. Ax squared plus bx. Can we have this format first? It means one of the sides must be equal to zero. That is what it simply means. So let us have this seven to the other side. So that is going to be negative. That's four. X squared minus eight X. All right, the seven to the other side, it was a positive. The moment it crosses the equal sign becomes a negative. So you are left with what the moment you removed the seven here, nothing, that's a zero. In this format, AX squared BX plus C, where A is the coefficient of X squared. So from our equation, what represents A is the coefficient of what X squared? So meaning to say our A is equal to what? To 4. B is the coefficient of X. What is multiplying our X is what? Minus 8. So our B is minus 8 and C is the constant where you do not have X at all. You do not have X at all on this one. So that is your C, which is minus 7. So take note, guys, and your formula, uh, you have it. Uh, no matter that you know your formula, guys, that you are given in the information sheet when answering questions, write down your formula. Write down your formula, guys. It's not even a time wasted to write this formula in exam. Right? You write down your formula. You properly substitute your values into this formula. So x is equal to what? Right? So we're going to substitute. Uh, there we're going to have x is equal to minus b, 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 this one. What is our b? It's minus 8. The minus, this one is of the formula, but B is having its own negative. So that's a negative to a negative there. So it's minus, minus 8. You properly substitute everything, plus or minus the square root of, what is B? Minus 8, but that is B squared. So that's minus 8 squared to the exponent of 2. Minus 4 times A times C. Our A is what? Our A is 4. So that's our A, just put a bracket. Then our C is negative 7. Just put a bracket here and you have your negative 7. So everything is over what? Everything, the division here, the division affects everything up to the end. So that's 2A where our A is what? Is 4. So properly substitute these values into the formula. You have your formula. You're given this in your information sheet so you properly substitute the values the tendency of I, I know this let me just quickly put the values and you are simplifying at the same time most of us we tend to have uh, mistakes in doing that so make sure that you substitute properly all right so anyways let us just simplify this the minus and the minus there we are going to have uh, a positive eight plus or minus, so I just want you to simplify this part that is under the square root only on your calculator, the part under the square root, that's uh, minus eight uh, squared, all right? So I just want you to, to simplify that part only. All right, so that's minus eight squared, uh, minus four, open bracket, that's a four. You open a bracket, that's a minus seven like this. That is going to give us 176. So that's the square root of 176. All right. Then if you are to consider everything here is over what? 2 times 4, which is 8. At least try to show these steps, guys. The substitution, very, very important. Then to simplify from that substitution at this stage. To separate there, it's your own. To that you can write here, x is equal to 8 plus you take the plus there, you write the square root of 176 over 8, or you are going to have our x as 8, then take the minus, minus the square root of 176 over 8 like this. To separate the plus or minus thereafter, it's, it's your own, guys. It's your own. This stage, you can even uh, skip this one. Just write your solutions from there. From this stage, write your solutions. Can simplify that from your calculator. 
All right, starting with the plus, let us have a fraction. So that's eight plus the square root of 176, everything over eight. So that is going to give us this in simplified form. But uh, as a decimal, that's two comma six, uh, five, eight, and so on. So to two decimal places as, as per our instruction, that's two comma six, six. All right, this one is gonna change. Or like I said, you can change this on your calculator shift, go to the setup, then fix on number six to two decimal places, you press a two. So go back to this SD, then it's gonna give you 2,66. So that's our X, 2,66, or our X is going to be what? Taking a negative value from what we have, gonna take a negative value here. So just move this arrow, okay? Until you have that positive, remove that and put a negative. Simple like that. That's minus uh zero comma six six minus zero comma six uh six. All right. So the simplification of the calculator you can even just uh re uh input input the values on your calculator, or you can just move the arrow until you get rid of those values. It's up to you. All right. But what is important at these stages, guys? All right substituting the values properly into the formula, then at least to show this part is supposed to be shown where you have simplified everything, then the answers thereafter. Separating this, it's, it's your, for your, this one is for your own. And also take note on the number of marks that are being given, the number of marks that are being given. It also tells you that there you need to make simplification. You need to show more stages. All right, so make sure that when you are simplifying that you also consider the max uh, mark allocation, guys, is uh, very, very important. So in this case, we are going to consider another part, which is uh, question number two. Um, this question we are given, that is 2x into the bracket of 3x plus 5, all right, minus 11 is equal to zero. So as you can see, there is a term outside of the bracket. So by our distribution, as we understand it from our grade 10 mathematics, we can distribute uh, this 2x in the bracket, all right? So why are we doing this, guys? Remember, we need this format, ax squared plus bx, this format. We can't we can't see it here. We cannot see it, that, that format. We are not even having this x squared. So for now, we do not even know the type of equation that we have until we get rid of these brackets. That's when we can tell to say, okay, that's a quadratic or this is what. All right. So let's distribute the 2x and 3x. That will be 6x squared. Remember, x and x gives us x squared. The 2x and the 5 is going to give us 10, but with x. So that's 10x minus 11. All right. The minus 11 is not part of the bracket. Take note, this one. It's not part of the bracket. So please do not uh, include this minus 11 when you're multiplying the 2x. No, it's not part of the bracket. Where the bracket ends, 2x multiply up to where the bracket ends. All right. So after expanding the brackets, that's where you can see, all right, this is a quadratic equation. You can see that after, say, the highest exponent that I'm having is what, 2. And it is in the format that we understand of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, where our a is the coefficient of what? x squared. So in this case, our a is what? 6. b, the coefficient of what? Of x, which is positive 10. All right? Then our c is the constant, which is what? Negative 11. So substituting into our formula, like I said, write down the formula, guys, but in this case, our formula is already there. So I'm just going to Substitute uh, straightforward. So x is equal to minus b. Minus b. What is our b? 10. So that's minus 10 plus or minus the square root of b squared. The same b, but this time being squared. So that's 10 squared minus 4ac. That's 4 times a, which is 6. Our c, that's a negative 11. So you're going to divide everything to 2a, which is 6 in this manner, all right? Our a there, that is 6. That is the idea. 
you have to substitute each and every term properly substitution first then from there we can simplify like i said you can even uh simplify this part is important under the square root we need to know under the square root in this case it was just uh b was 10 so it was just going to give us negative 10 there is no negative negative there so we are going to have negative 10 plus or minus uh simplify these numbers under the square root these ones let us know, guys, what are we having under the square root? We know, guys, you can use your calculators properly. You can just, uh, from this stage, you, you can use your calculator here to obtain the answers. We know that. But show the examiner what is it that you are having here under the square root. It is important. This one is not for you. It's, to, it's for what? For the examiner. All right? So that is 10 squared minus uh, 4 by 6 by negative 11. All right. So, yes, because of that fix that we had to two decimal place, so it is showing these two zeros, but the answer is what? 364. We can even just go back to the normal mode, shift, go back to the setup, then press 8 to go back to the normal mode, press 2, that's 364. So, as you can see, guys, uh, that's 364. This part here is important to indicate the stage after. All right, 2 times 6, uh, that's a 12. So from this stage, that is where you can uh, evaluate, I mean, solve for x. Give the values for x to say what is the value of x, the, the separation of the plus or minus. Yes, you can separate, but there you can just give us, okay, for the plus, what is the solution? All right. So having our fraction, that's a negative 10 plus the square root of 364. Square root of 364 uh, over 12. So that was going to give us this in simplified form. Then as a decimal, uh, minus 0, 0,756 and so on, which is 0, 0,76. As you can see, it's going to change to uh a six all right or like i said in terms of the simplification guys you can even uh change this all right uh let's put this one to two decimal places all right that's uh 0, 0.76 so that is for the values of x that we are having all right uh zero comma seven six for the positive value i mean then for a negative all right for a negative let us just remove this one and put a negative here all right so that's minus two comma four two minus two comma four two like that so these are the values of x that we are obtaining from this equation as we uh have solved it so what is important, guys, when solving the quadratic equations using the quadratic formula is the format, all right? The format here, ax squared plus bx plus C, that quadratic uh, equation in this format, it can be solved by this formula. So you have to try by all means, to work out as many questions as we uh, as we can. Uh, then uh, as we have our comment section, guys, that is there for us to communicate. Let us uh, communicate so that we can understand uh, which areas to work on, uh, which questions to work on. Maybe there's a question that you have been attempting and it, uh, you have got a challenge in attempting that question. That is the purpose, guys, of that comment section. Let's communicate so that we can work out uh, as many questions as we can as you are preparing yourselves for the exams which are ahead of time.